This video was brought to you by the ILC. Hello there once again and welcome to episode 36. In this episode I'm going to show you how to multiply complex numbers together that contain the letter I and how to simplify them. Let's get started. Alright, our problem this time is to multiply two complex numbers together. The first is x minus 4 plus i, the other is x minus 4 minus i. Now each of them have three terms, they're both trinomials. And if you've watched the earlier episodes, you may have seen how I handle trinomials. I like to make a table where I write the first terms on the top, x, negative 4, and i. And along the left side, I write the other terms in the second trinomial, x, negative 4, negative i. And then I simply multiply each term on the left by each term above. Let's see how that works. We'll go x times x is simply x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. x times i is ix. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x again. Negative 4 times negative 4 gives positive 16. Negative 4 times i is negative 4i. Negative i times x gives negative ix. And negative i times negative 4 gives positive 4i. And negative i times positive i gives us 2i's, so we'll say negative i squared. Now this looks like a really nasty set of terms to have to sort through, but you should see that some of them will cancel out if you look closely. For example, you might notice that we have ix in the upper right and negative ix in the lower left. Well, those two will cancel out because they are opposites of each other. For the same reason, the negative 4i on the right side will cancel out with the positive 4i on the bottom. Already looking a little better. You may also notice that we have negative i squared in the corner, but remember that i squared is the same thing as negative 1. So that negative i squared is the same thing as negative of negative 1, or positive 1. So we'll replace the negative i squared with positive 1. You may now see that some of these terms that are remaining will combine together. For example, the negative 4x and the negative 4x are both x terms, so you can combine them into one term. For the same reason, the plus 16 and the plus 1 will also combine. Let's try to collect our terms and combine whatever's left. We have x squared as our lone x squared term. Negative 4 and negative 4 makes negative 8x. 16 plus 1 makes 17. And so that big mess that we made in our table all combines fairly nicely into a quadratic trinomial. So that two complex trinomials can oftentimes make one real trinomial. We'll work with this a little bit more next episode. I'll see you there.